YouTube, what it do, baby? Back with another video. Hopefully, everybody's having an amazing day or night. Um, let me know what your favorite weapon is or your top three class setups in Modern Warfare right now. I'm going to give you guys the top five best class setups for multiplayer. Um, there are a few that could be interchanged, and I'll talk about that a little bit as well. And later on, I'm going to be making another video here in the near future. Uh, in, here in the near future, um, another video just like this, but for Warzone. So a top five best weapons in uh, Warzone at this point. And a lot of it's uh, just based off your own preference and just what feels comfortable for you in game. So I'm going to give you what I tend to rock a lot of the times, so which I feel is really, really, really good for multiplayer. So let's jump into it, man. I don't want to waste too much of your time uh, talking. Let's just jump right into these class setups, man. So the first one, <clears throat> we're going to go with the Ram. Okay, I know it's very good in Warzone. I think it's making a little bit of a comeback now uh, that some of the weapons are getting nerfed. So this thing absolutely melts in multiplayer, guys. It's the, one of the fastest killing assault rifles, maybe behind the FAL or the FAL. Um, it's right up the top. It might even be the fastest killing uh, AR. I'm not 100% sure. But for this setup, we're running Monolithic, the FTAC compact barrel, 50 round mag, simple grip tape, and sleight of hand. I try to get my ADS uh, better uh, for all my weapons because I like to rush more than sit back. So I like to have a better ADS speed for uh, most of my weapons. So you can make this almost into an SMG. You can make it however you want to run it. Like I said, you don't have to use these attachments. These are just the attachments that I run, and they they work very good for me. I'll just show you guys this. But you can run whatever you want. You can run a stock. Uh, if you want a sight or a tack laser, I've been running that a lot lately as well. So I might may take off the barrel and then put on a tack laser. Uh, that could that helps. Look at all the accuracy and the range and the fire rate go up when you do that. So that's something I would do. So I, there's a lot of different things you can do with this Ram 7. So that is the first one I'm going to show you guys. And I absolutely love the Ram in multiplayer. So the next one is my baby. Uh, the MP5. That, this is my favorite weapon in Modern Warfare by far, uh, especially they just dropped the tracer pack uh, for it. So this MP5, okay, let's talk about it a little bit. This is the uh, tracer round right here, the Banisher MP5. So I had to put that on there for you. But, okay, I've always ran these. I'm going to tell you the change, though. So we're on a monolithic integral suppressor. Um, I've always ran this since the beginning of the game, the whole time. Since the game has been out, I've always ran this. I've never ran the monolithic suppressor or for the, the muzzle. Uh, I've just ran the monolithic integral suppressor, okay? Uh, for the stock, I've always ran FTAC collapsible stock. Okay, I've been exper uh, experimenting a little bit with this. They did nerf the FTAC stock. Uh, I think a lot of you may have found that out. If you don't use the MP5 much, you wouldn't tell. But uh, since this is like the main weapon I use every single day I play the game, I use this. Um, you can definitely tell the difference. I think the field of view is different. I feel like there's more recoil. So I ended up putting on this FSS close quarter stock. And it still gives you ADS speed. You just don't get that movement speed with it. Uh, but it's essentially almost the same thing. Uh, the mobility drops down just a little bit more with it, but you, it, you'll get used to it. So I do recommend this or FTAC stock, either one. Um, if you're just starting out, I would go FTAC because you you wouldn't be, the change wouldn't be new to you. So you could just start out using it right away. But the change was huge to me. I could feel it a lot. So I ended up putting the uh, close quarter stock on. But either one of these is fine. FTAC or close quarter stock. I recommend that. Then I go sleight of hand for multiplayer, 45 round max, and Merc foregrip. Because Merc foregrip actually makes you run a little bit faster, guys, if you did not know that. So that's why I recommend that setup. Um, in Warzone, I run, which I'll probably make a video on this as well, and put this one in Warzone. I'll take sleight of hand off, and I usually put on uh, stipple grip tape or attack laser. So I'll take either put attack laser on or stipple grip tape. So that's my class setup for multiplayer right there. Uh, the next one, the M4, Mr. Reliable. This always melts. It's been good since the game has came out. Lots of different attachments you can run for this and still make it very good. Just make it suit your play style. However you want to play, you can use it as a long range weapon because it has no recoil with the right attachments. You can make it with a no stock, tack laser, um, stipple grip tape, which makes the ADS speed very good. You can rush around more. But this is kind of the middle of the balance right here for me, and I, I like it. I like this setup. So running the monolithic. Singard Arms Invader Stock, uh, Sleight of Hand, 60 Round Max, and Commando Foregrip. Excuse me, I had to get a drink. I've been sick a little bit. I got to tickle my throat. Um, so that setup right here is really good for me. Uh, the accuracy range and fire rate go up. The mobility does drop a little bit. So this is the one weapon I usually try. I don't max it out uh, mobility and ADS wise. But this, these attachments are very, very good. And I almost run Sleight of Hand on every class. So 
Uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think about that setup. We'll get to the perks here in a minute, too. Prototype Growl. So we got the Growl. <clears throat> you guys know at the beginning of the game, they really nerfed no stock. Uh, I, I always used to run no stock with all my ARs, but now I just kind of leave it the base version because then you can get another attachment as well. So for this uh, for this uh, Growl, I'm running a monolithic suppressor for the muzzle. We're running the FSS 11.8 Squall Barrel. So the Squall Barrel is a new barrel that you have to unlock. Um, that is a new barrel for the Growl. And then we're running the TAC Laser. Uh, we're running 60 round mags and we're running Slide of Hand. I really recommend you run this 11.8 Squall Barrel though, guys. I know that Tempest Archangel is the best in Warzone. I think everybody knows that. But this Squall Barrel is absolutely amazing in multiplayer. I don't know why, but it makes it feel like the Growl has literally no recoil. So trust me, unlock this barrel, use it, you'll love it. And Tac Laser for faster ADS speed, slide of hand to reload faster. 60 round mag so I can take out a whole team with one clip or one magazine, excuse me. So, yep, that is my Growl setup. Let me know what you guys think about that one. And for the last one, uh, there's a several weapons that could fit in this category. They're not base of one through five. These are just my top five overall. Okay, I didn't number them, uh, but this Amax right here, this thing absolutely shreds. We're going to monolithic suppressor. Uh, we're running the CR56 XO stock, sleight of hand, the stippled wrap for faster ADS, and 45 round mags. We're running the uh, the uh, the variant, <laughs> the tracer round variant. Excuse me, couldn't think for a minute. But this setup is very, very good. Some other weapons I could, th I think you could throw in here. I know I missed a few. Uh, like you could throw the, uh, what's the one right here? The AN-94, the Kilo. The AUG is very overpowered in my opinion. So you could throw the AUG in there as well for an SMG. The Uzi is very good in multiplayer, don't get me wrong. Um, lots of other things that you can run in this. Like I said, lots of other things you can run for this weapon. Uh, attack laser would be another one. Instead of stock, you can put on attack laser for faster ADS speed. And also, that, the stats go up when you do that for almost every category. So that's something you could run. So just play around with it. Whatever fits your play style better, go ahead and run that. So let's talk about the, uh, the perks a little bit. So what I've always ran in Modern Warfare for the perks are Double Time, Ghost, and amped okay sometimes i'll run shrapnel um for if i'm playing shipment i'll run hardline uh, on uh, nothing other than ghost and hardline but i only run hardline if i'm playing shipment because ghost is really irrelevant because how small the map is so i always run ghost unless it's shipment and then for this one i for the first perk i run double time and sometimes eod depending on if the other team is using claymores bouncy betties or trip mines whatever they're called so those three or those two right here double time and eod uh ghost and hardline on shipment and amped and shrapnel so those are the perks that i run and i think they're the best for multiplayer uh personally and if not you can run specialist so specialist is another uh thing that you can run as well so specialist is really well if you're trying to go for a high gun streak obviously you can't get uh kill streaks with that so those are my top five set for multiplayer. Be ready for a top five uh, Warzone video, best weapons in Warzone. Let me know what you guys think about these setups. Which ones do you think fit in the top five, like for sure? Let me know what you guys think. This is just my opinion, what works well for me. Let me know what you guys think about it. But that's all I got for you guys today. Hopefully you guys li liked the video. Smash that like, hit that subscribe button down below, and I'll catch y'all later. Peace.